Is it true? Is there such a thing as a finger dribbling drill that can get you better handles? It's not spinning it on your finger, but yes, there's actually four drills that will get you a better handle instantly today. Now, I know that might sound pretty wild, but I guarantee if you try these drills, you're gonna see an improvement. Coach Jesse Minch here with Get Handles Basketball. One of the biggest things with your handles and improving your ball control that you, you probably heard this from a lot of the best ball handlers in the NBA is getting a good feel for the basketball, right? Well, what feels the basketball more than your fingers, right? So if you can improve your ball control with your fingers, your feel for the basketball with your fingers, and your strength and flexibility with your fingers, you can instantly improve your handles. That's what these four drills are gonna do for you. First drill, you wanna focus on keeping your palm flat and going like this. So just like this, and then folding. So you try to get your fingers to touch the base of your palm as you release the dribble and then across, down, across, down, across, down, across. Might feel a little bit weird, but you'll get a little bit better feel for the, for the basketball by doing this. And on top of that, you'll build up some of the strength in that hand that you need. So go ahead and just rep that out for about one or two minutes. Back and forth, just like that. Really focusing on snapping hard though. Don't just go through the motions with it or you won't get anything out of it. Give a good snap with those fingers and you'll improve the strength with those fingers and get a better feel for the basketball. Second drill is gonna really help you with that though. Click that like button if you like that first drill and leave me a comment. Let me know who you think has better flashy moves. Jason Williams in his prime or Jamal Crawford in his prime. So the next drill is gonna really help you get that crazy feel for the basketball like those guys had. And it's to take the basketball and squeeze it out of your fingers. So your hand's gonna be on the basketball nice and wide like this. And you're gonna squeeze it so hard that it slowly slides out of your fingers, but you wanna work it up to the point where that's happening quick. So you're squeezing so hard that it just slides right out of your hands, okay? Just going like this, up and down. And the lower you do it, the more of a benefit you'll get out of it because you'll have to rep it out quicker, 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 quicker. And if you keep that elbow straight, you'll get an even bigger benefit because now it's all your fingers doing the work and you'll feel a little bit of a burn in the forearms as well. Get a good workout on that so you can get more snap on the dribble. Get a good feel for the basketball. I would say do that for about one minute. Your arm will be burning. And then do one minute with the other hand. Same thing, squeezing it out of that hand. That's gonna get you much stronger hands, forearms, wrists, and a lot better feel for the basketball. Third drill might seem kind of weird, but when I explain it to you, it'll make a lot more sense. So for this one, you're gonna take your hands, curl them in, and then out. And you're gonna use the backs of your fingers to dribble the basketball. And you're gonna say to yourself, well, coach, when I dribble the basketball, my fingers always curl in. Why would I wanna work on curling them out? Simple. That motion is gonna get you in the habit of getting your hands nice and wide, build that flexibility and the strength to pull your hands out wider. If your hand is wider, you can grip the basketball a lot better, okay? So this drill is simply that, keeping your hands as wide as you can, curling them in and out, trying to, every time you release the basketball though, make sure you fan your hand out nice and wide, like that, like you're rolling some dice or something, all right? Snapping that wrist hard, and the other thing this is gonna get is that wrist snap back. Now again, you don't dribble the basketball with that wrist snap back for your power when you're releasing, but being able to bend it back further and more powerfully will allow you to get a bigger snap on those dribbles so you can really pound it. It also helps with your shooting range and your passing. So again, I would do this about one minute each hand, snapping it down, snapping it down, other hand, snapping it down, snapping it down. Fourth drill, in my opinion, is probably the most important and it's a must-do drill. I make all the players I work with in person do it at the beginning of every one of our workouts because I don't think there's a better drill for getting a good feel for the basketball, strengthening your hands, getting a better grip on the basketball, and so much more. But before I get into it, if you found this video helpful so far, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you can catch the newest videos to get notified of them the second they come out. So, last drill is a, a full sequence. So we're gonna start by going thumb, okay? Now the key thing on this is don't 
stab at the basketball like this. I see a lot of players do that. Or don't use your whole arm to dribble the basketball. No, you're just using your thumb to dribble, but the arm's really doing the work. The idea is to keep your palm facing towards the ground, wide open like this. You'll get the most benefit by having it like that. And then actually snapping the thumb down to push the basketball. You'll strengthen that thumb a lot more and get a lot better feel for the basketball. And I always tell players, if you can control the basketball with one finger, using your whole hand is gonna be a piece of cake. Then, pointer. I do about 12 dribbles each finger. 10 to 12 dribbles, lower, locking the elbow out again, getting it straight will get more benefit, work on that finger even more. Then you go middle finger, ring finger, all the way down to your pinky, and then we're gonna do what I call play the piano one by one, pinky to thumb, back down to pinky, okay? And then of course, you would repeat back on the other hand. Uh, the play the piano, I'd go about 10 times with that again, from pinky down to thumb, back down to pinky would be one time. Do that 10 times, you will feel the burn by the time you're done with it. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is gonna help a lot with your control of your fingers, but there's a lot of other parts you need, right? I mean, you have to be explosive with your first step, you change the direction, you gotta have different moves down, right? Well, I got a workout that'll help you with all that stuff. Click the top link in the description, pop in your email, I will send that to you instantly for free. That's already helped thousands of players and I'm sure it'll help you too. Again, just click the link, pop in your email and I'll send it right away. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you click that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what else you wanna see from the channel and check out this video. That one's gonna help you a ton as well and this playlist for sure. And share this video with a friend. If you got someone that's trying to get a better feel for the basketball, better grip and just better control over it, this video is gonna help them a ton. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, make moves today and I'll see you in the next video.